Hi everyone, my name is Angelishka and today I will be talking about week two um, video discussion. Um, what stood out more about the story of leadership and what am I learning about history and development of leadership from. So for me, the story of leadership in the book has a lot of diverse, uh, diverse ways of viewing leadership. I was able to see another concept of leadership that the one I had previously seen in like um, workplace or athlete teams, which are the ones that I've experienced before, um, not more in depth of what I have read in the book. Um, when on page 16 it said that leadership starts within the family unit, um, it starts to create another perspective towards leadership where like it isn't normal for children to obey and listen and follow the order coming from parents, especially back then when the patriarch was more dominant. Yet as seen in other families, the parenting is more calm and like quiet. So like there's like a lot of diverse ways of parenting. Yet um, this seemed to cause like unleashing patterns that some led to like views and just like not having the right way of like guiding their kids. So when reading the story, what most caught my attention would be where the leader Samuel is named King and how it became a complicated issue as the transition was not easy from like coming back um, back in time. Um, I found it unfair how the people wanted Samuel to have someone rule over him, yet Samuel was like um, smart enough to take the request from the community towards God and I feel like the people were being really selfish and like not giving him a chance and like they, they were being lazy too. They wanted someone to lead over them. Like they didn't want to lead and they wanted their leader to go before them um, in a way that they just were be trying to be lazy and not be leaders of their own community, which is what they were supposed to do. Yet, um, I liked how God, um, told Samuel, hey, I want you to deliver this message. And as said in page 21, that God um, tells um, Samuel to tell them, like to give them a warning as to what would happen if they would get another leader on top of Samuel. And even though the warning was very detailed and I had a lot of description of what would happen if this happened. Um, they did not care, they were stubborn, and they failed to listen to God's warning and still insisted to get another king, king to rule over Samuel. And this is where Saul um, came along, yet he even shows up, shows the lack of responsibility and like accountability, how as a leader, he showed up late to the coronation. Like, if you really wanted this really bad, like, you wouldn't have been late. Um, you would have been there earlier and, like, showed up more, um, at least showed more responsibility in your part. Yet, um, Saul was, like many leaders in our society, they're self-centered. He only worried about himself. And in the book, it's blames a lot more of the things he does. Um, he blamed others for the decisions he failed to make. Um, he did not care a slight bit about his community. He just cared about being in, in there as a leader and that's pretty much it. Yet this is certainly an issue that happens a lot in our society where people are named boss, they're named captains, they're named leaders without genuinely being one from within. So if you don't want to be there like it's like being a cold work like if you really don't want to go to work you, it's not your desire to go to work like you don't love it then why are you doing it one of the reasons like when we're going into college they tell us hey if you're not passionate about it find something else because it's something you're going to be doing for like x y amount of years and if you're unhappy doing it you're not going to do it genuinely you're not going to do it freely you're not going to be yourself and um, well, looking forward, um, I really liked how explained everything was in the book. Um, and looking forward, my second favorite part of 
the reading, the story of leadership would be when Jesse's son were brought to the review um, to take Saul out of um, his position as king. And they didn't bring the youngest kid. They brought the other um, Jesse's son, yet they were not eligible. If we can say that, God did not approve them. They were like, is there something else? I know that Samuel was looking, he was like, is there someone else? And yet, in fact, there was someone else, which was David. And he is the one indeed that becomes king. He's the one that God approves. And this is where we can see that he's very young and everything. Like in page 22, it explains a little bit more. Yet uh, here we can see how powerful cultural bias against the youngest of the family was because they did not bring him as they were asked to. They were asked to bring Jesse's sons and they failed to bring one of them, which is the youngest one, because they considered that he wasn't eligible for um, to be king, which is kind of unfair. Yet, um, this is where we see a real king who is humble, grateful, and knows where he's coming from, knows who's he, who he is, most importantly knows what leadership is. And he knows that leadership is more than just a leader. It's having a mindset that your responsibility is to serve others in a positive and constructive manner. And I really liked how the story ended um, with an optimistic tone as it said that David ruled with the heart and mind of a servant. Um, and he was indeed one of the greatest kings to ever sit um, on the throne of the nation of Israel. And here we can see how that your physical characteristic, your physical traits, you did not define who you are, or like what you may be, or how great, or how bad, how smart, how um, secure, how insecure, how afraid. It does not define you. And this is why learning different ways of like being a leader and, ident and trying to identify um, people's leaders and like myself and what I'm missing of being a leader um, is amazing because I can just keep learning and I really liked um, the other stories that the book had and yeah that's pretty much for today thank you